All right, so today we're uh, <laughs> we're testing out uh, on stream right now. We're testing on Amelia. We're checking out how this character turned out. Uh, for the most part, I've gave, I've given chat my answer. Currently, uh, chat is experiencing this live, so they get to enjoy this. But um, my my nice little voice change before going into a recording. But today we're testing on Amelia to see how she is as a character. Uh, remember, on paper, uh, we were definitely looking at this character to be more of a uh, mediocre character, right? Because she's not like a top meta DPS character. She's not gonna be like, dude. Dorothy, uh, or no, it's not Dorothy, uh, Modernia, uh, Scarlet, uh, Red Hood, who? 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 Amelia is the number one character. Um, definitely what it is with this character, she's going to be good, right? That's the entire breakdown. But when it comes to, like, you know, top DPSs of the world, will will she beat those? No. But is it a good character to have if you're missing a character like A2? Is it a good character to have when you're missing a few of the characters? The answer kind of is yes. It's good to have this character uh, to kind of take care of those things, right? But um, again, We'll test out this character, see how she does over here. Um, I will be gearing her fully and then uh, being very depressed while gearing her uh, to see how she does. Because, again, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to put a lot of uh, materials in both this character and Rem. So I'm going to see who I prioritize on the, the level ups. But for what this character brings to the table, if you're looking for a DPS character, you don't have one, she'll be pretty good. Campaign stages, even boss stages, right? A water code character can be very good in the battlefield. Um, so just consider. Consider it, right? And, again, she has a free outfit. Remember that. She looks really good with the outfit. If that outfit is the reason you're pulling, then hey, go for it. But um, I have to go claim that now. I forgot. I also have that outfit. But we're going to test in the DPS area here, see how this turns out. Then we'll switch over to a boss stage and see how she does on Chatterbox. That's currently the only active boss. But um, yeah, that's where it currently stands. So for the most part, I haven't really seen uh, more so outside of you know community sentiment. A few of my comments have said they tested her and they kind of agree on the sentiment. Uh, we like put a rating down, that being 8 out of 10. Uh, which it's not bad. Eight out of ten is pretty good, but um, we will see as, as testing goes through. As we put on more uh, like gear and builds her up perfectly, maybe she does hit pretty uh, good numbers. But it's always good as a free to play to have a copy of a character. So if you want to consider it, you can, right? For solo raid or for whatever content, she can definitely work for one of the uh, the teams, right? And um, yeah, you know what I mean. So if you if you need a campaign clearing character, maybe Amelia does hold up to that standard. Um, maybe in the future she gets, um, or when we get Rem, maybe she becomes even better there too. But as uh, as time progresses, we'll see how everything turns out. But for what she is, rocket launcher character, everything there is potential. There, there definitely is potential. But currently, you can see here, 42. She has an extra burst over Scarlet. Keep that in mind. But still doing pretty good on the uh, on the damage front here. But um, we will test also when we swap to uh, Chatterbox and see what she does. But remember, that's kind of how she is. For uh, what it is as a character, we thought that charge up would take so long. The charge up is much faster than I expected. Uh, this charge up is pretty solid, so look at that, much faster. Um, I don't know in the video if it was longer or a different percentage, but yeah, this one came through at a faster interval, uh, which is pretty good. But yeah, she did 61 here compared to 58. She did get the last burst in though, so that's why. Again, AOE. When there's more characters on the field, more mobs, she's obviously going to be doing pretty good. So that's what we came up with with the uh, the number there. Um, and again, we did scope block and everything, so. But what it is, it's if you if you need a DPS character, is that the answer? Do you need one? I will answer that perfectly. Then go for her, right? If you're in the need for a DPS character, she'll be pretty good. As a free-to-play, is it worth, is it, is it a must-pull? I wouldn't say must-pull, but it's a damn good character to have just in the future for solo raids and whatnot. Remember, there is an anniversary soon. That should be your main focus. Like, if you're not even able to amass a pity between now and anniversary, then you shouldn't be pulling for anything in the collab, correct? Because you never want to miss a pilgrim. Uh, they will literally make your life miserable trying to pull for that later. And uh, yeah, for, for example, I still don't have Noah. I still don't have um, a few of the characters. But uh, yeah, that's where it currently stands. We'll try Chatterbox in a second here. But again, you can mess with the team here. You want to give her uh, max ammo mostly. So if we get characters that can do better at that, who knows what happens. But we'll try Chatterbox real quick. I'm going to ask my chat as right now what they stand at. Give me a rating chat. So this will be perfectly in the video. Give me a rating on this character out of 10. What would you rate her after whatever you've seen so far? Is she a uh, 10 being good? Is she a 1 being bad? But um, my chat's going to troll now. Be like, oh, she's a 1 out of 10, bro. <laughs> she's a 1 out of 10, bro. There we go. First person coming in with an 8. Okay, 7 out of 10. Okay, okay. Bro, we were, we were not cooking. Chat was not cooking today. We were asking like polls here left and right saying like, oh, which character, which, uh, which collab will be meta? Bro. Cyberpunk getting a 70 or 60% saying yes positive. There's not a good number. How dare you, Chad? How dare you? But well, we got we got more ratings here. Let me just take care of these missiles. I missed half of them. 
Uh, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7, 8, 7, 4. Damn, Sergio. Come on, bro. Hey, yo, he was looking for fan service. That's what happened. And I misclicked. I hit the window ski. Damn it. Damn it. 1 and 7 out of 10. Hey, yo. 7.5. 7, I mean 1, 5, 7, 7.5, 7, 6, 7.5, 4, 5, 8, uh, 10, 4, 5. I just ate that hit accidentally. I'm focusing on chat, bro. My bad. We take care of these missiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, didn't get her hit that much, you know? Just got hit, like, punched initially. Let's take care of that. Let's take care of that. Boom. Drop back. Okay. It's a good character, but needs a lot of investment. That is true. Good, good point. I forgot to mention. This character will need a lot of investment. So if you're planning on building her, be ready for the things that come with it. You're gonna need to build a lot for her. Uh, she is not a kind of low invested character. She's It's similar to A2 in a way, right? A2 required a little bit of you know hand holding, a little bit of help, you know, love and support, and then she'll become the meta DPS for you. So remember that, or a good DPS, but that's the same case here. You definitely wanna make sure that she's uh, duped out. But 15 versus 17 is not bad. 15 versus 17 is not bad. Why is he so in love with Amelia? God. Yo, hop off. God. <laughs> I throw attacked her three times. Let's get Abnormal Tower right now. I wish, bro. Abnormal Tower would be perfect. There we go. So, for the most part, honestly, the burst is pretty nasty. That's a big selling point to the character. Clearing campaign stages. She's a sort of A2. She's an A2 variant. 23 is still pretty solid for what it is. 22, uh, sorry, 23 versus 22. That's again what we came from, uh, came up with over here in the boss stage. It's again, I think that this boss is fire, right? Yeah, weak point water. So she's obviously you know, getting a little bit of benefit here, but that doesn't negate how good she is. She's a good character. She's just not going to be, oh my God, top five DPS. You know what I mean? That's not that. It's just a good character. So if you're in, again, looking for uh, some sort of DPS, go for this, bud. I keep repeating the same thing because I'm trying to hammer it home. I am not saying she's a must-pull. not saying that she's not a must-pull. I'm saying that she's a good character to have, okay? I didn't say go Core 7 her, <laughs> like my chat said. But I am saying obtain her, see if you like her. Um, but she is pretty solid. So with MLB lines, with, oh, with MLB, with lines, with whatever, we'll test out how the character turns out. But um, for right now, that's definitely my cur uh, current uh, synopsis. I still think that before you pull for her, wait to see what Rem is capable of. Because remember, Rem on paper... That thing is screaming, God, you know what I mean? That's like really good. So see what Rem has to say. See what Rem has to offer. And then, then, then make the decision of, oh, then I'll go for Amelia because Amelia seems to be better. I'd rather go for Rem because Rem, again, is more of a supporting character. Remember, uh, like, like DPS characters get out meted very quickly. You, you see that, right? They fall off because a, a better DPS popped up, right? A better DPS is there. But with supported characters, they, they last. They last a, a while, right? Because again, any character that releases in that category, you're not really going to get a supported character that does better than a supported character, right? So remember that definitely when it comes to Rem. Uh, she might be a very good character to uh, sort of look forward to. And um, that might be the better character. But for right now, where's my review? I'll definitely give her a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. She's a good character. Uh, she's very solid for campaign stages, potentially. Um, I don't know if I can push. Maybe I can. I can try one campaign stage real quick, but... Uh, we will see if that operates. Um, but you saw the damage. She, she holds up pretty well for what she is. We tested it on a stage where she wasn't. I don't think she's going to do good here, bro. She has no gear. Why am I even trying this? <sighs> Why am I trying? She, there's no gear here. Plus, I'm stuck on this stage. Is there any other stage I'm not? Uh, I go, go here. Can't go with these, right? Or can I? Yeah, let's do this. Let's see. But, um, yeah. Again, water DPS. There's potential. Like Chad says, she's definitely better than Neon Summer and Ludmilla Snow. Wait, Ludmilla? I don't know about Ludmilla. Ludmilla's pretty good, bro. But she is uh, good at clearing. That's that's for for a fact. Let's see, let's see. Wait, wait, I like her burst a lot. But I wonder, in an instance like this, what happens? Yeah. For a stage like this, she's going to do perfect. They're all uh, gathered up for her. Obviously, again, like A2. Just like A2. Gathered up literally for her. Okay. How we do? How we do? How we do? The answer is... Not bad. Pretty good. For, for a campaign stage, it's pretty solid. So, And she doesn't have maxed gear. Or basically any gear. right? Just level to 5 on one of them. So if I OL, if I give lines, 
there is potential so that's where i stand let me know what you think summer neon <laughs> yeah don't remind me about summer neon bro ah <sighs> pain but yeah let me know what you think that has been the uh little showcase here uh this is just a first look showcase we'll break it down more i'll try to give her the proper lines and everything and waste all my mats before rem comes out so that i can complain when rem comes out about how many mats i spent so yep sounds pretty good that's my review again if you want to wait for further testing you're more than welcome to before deciding to summon i would still wait if you're on the fence of it wait until rem comes out see what she has to offer and then make a more informed decision all right all right